Huntsville, Alabama, 2 11 2018. We in here? Damn it. Ruin the cut. The whole thing in here? Oh, we in here. Sammy T's 2 11 2018, Huntsville, Alabama. Ah. one of the concerts when you're 18, you can get on stage with me and sing Outlaw. For real? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. You're fucking awesome, dude. Thank you, buddy. No problem. There you go, Bob. Actually, you know what? Man, I'll, I'll give you something special that won't nobody do. And I really like this thing, so take care of it, all right? This is my freaking banjo. I take my little banjo, or I take this sucker everywhere, dude. Y'all make sure y'all got on here or whatever. Look, I made these for church in Travis. I'm gonna give them to them one way or another. I know, but I'm gonna give them both to church and you know, I got their names letter right here. What is it? It's just some <laughs> plates I made in college. Okay, that's what's up, man. Rick. Can't really see it, but it says Rick. There we go. That's I'm gonna give up. them to them. Respect, man. It's 
suit and John Deere green Jaybirds looks like something from a movie scene And I know who's dangerous and who's insane Who's got the blue flame and Mary Jane The road I'm on has no yellow lights Just cracked asphalt and broken sides The bottles filled with THC When the streetlights disappear You're on the creek The road I'm on is a place I know The big white church with the haunted goat The black marks lead into another Lifetime in the side of a tall pine. The road I'm on has no yellow lights, just cracked asphalt and broken sides. The bottles filled with THC. When the streetlights disappear, you're on the train. Oh, oh, Fucking up, George, Alabama. people are taking advantage of me is one thing but when you start taking advantage of my fans that's when you fucked up what do i look like a fucking a fucking meal ticket where you can give me some money and a microphone and then have my fans pay for tickets and then fucking turn them away at the door fuck that i pull up to the mud park and there's somebody at the front gate with my fucking people showing up with RHEC stickers and shit on their trucks asking where do they park at and then they get fucking yelled and cussed at and told to fucking leave don't say it didn't fucking happen because I fucking heard it there's two things I'm not your bitch and a fucking pushover and if you think for one fucking second that I'm gonna get on a fucking stage when you're turning away my fucking people that paid to fucking be there you're fucking smoking crack because here's the thing about me I don't care if it's an eight-year-old kid a 50-year-old woman, or an 80-year-old fucking biker. You're gonna treat my fucking people with respect, every single fucking one of them. I mean, how are you gonna turn them away? They bought tickets! I mean, are you fucking kidding? These people bust their ass for their money. They came to have fun. You were selling a fucking ticket. So if they buy the ticket, they should come have fun, because that's what they paid to do. There's no way, there's no way that that could be legal. There's no fucking way! Dude, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of successful shows where everyone got to show up. For example, last night, and the night before, and the weekend before, and the month before, and even the year before. This is the first time that I've ever had to deal with some stupid ass shit like this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make an example out of this situation. An example that I'm not your little fucking bitch, and my fans ain't your fucking bitches neither. You're not gonna take something that I've built, and my fans have built, and then turn around and treat us like we're some fucking livestock or something, and then put my people in fucking danger at this shit-ass place. My people are worth more than fucking money, buddy. Business. You wanna do good business, then do good business. Good business to me is taking care of my supporters. Good business to me is having a fucking ambulance at the place in case somebody gets drunk and fucking wrecks their four-wheeler. Good business to me is having enough security guards there to make sure at least the women and children are okay. I mean, goddamn, when I pulled up to the place, as soon as I pulled up, somebody almost got fucking ran over by a fucking mud truck. I take that shit seriously. A little girl just died last night at Willin' in the Country. That's not fucking funny. That's somebody's kid, okay? Have your shit roped off. Make sure there's at least one official over there monitoring the shit and making sure people are doing what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. Think I give a fuck about your money? I don't give a fuck about your money. I give a fuck about the people. And obviously, you don't give a fuck about nobody. When you turn away my fans, 
You're turning away me. I am them. I stand with them. I mean, what do I look like to you? Some stupid fucking kid you can hand some money to show up and then not give a fuck about nothing that happens and just do my whole rap set and leave? Fuck no. Before all this shit, I was doing construction work. There's shit you gotta do to make sure everything goes right, just like a construction site. And you know what? Most of these people that show up to my shows know this, because they do the same thing. I will not be back to that fucking park. My fans will not be back to that fucking park. I will not do fucking business with anybody that was running that bitch neither. Cussing and yelling at my fucking people as they're pulling in, asking you where to park, and all I hear is, GET THE FUCK OUT OF HERE! GO! GET THE FUCK OUT OF HERE! Who in the fuck you think you're talking to? So you know what I'm gonna do? First off, I'm gonna encourage everybody to fucking ask for their money back that did get to come in. Half of y'all didn't get to come in. Second off, I'm gonna figure out a way to go to another fucking mud park around there and come back and everyone who paid for a ticket at that shit-ass place can get in for free. I'll talk to somebody. You know what? If you're mad at me for somebody else's mistake, whatever. Anybody who knows me or has been to a show before knows that I'm not doing this for myself. I'm saying and doing what the fuck I'm doing for my people that didn't get to come in and who were treated like shit. And let me tell you something. It was a lot of people. If you're doing business with me, there's two things you are going to do or you're not going to do business with me. One, you're going to respect me. Two, you're going to respect my people that show up to my shit. Because if you don't, everybody's going to fucking know about it. I mean, what do you expect? Me to make a fucking boo-boo ass bullshit fucking video saying, oh, I'm sorry, and making up some excuse? Fuck that. I don't make up excuses for no fucking body. Not even myself. So with that being said, ask for y'all's money back. And if you can get your money back, get your money back and hold your ticket. Because I am coming back. And when I come back, I'm going to go somewhere better. And everybody who paid for a damn ticket to this place and got treated like shit, you will be getting in for free at a way better show at a way better location. Fucking love you guys. See y'all later. The ticket. They should come have fun because that's what they paid to do. Chaos at an off-road park in Garland County. This after fans say they were turned away from a concert even though they already paid for their tickets. Thanks for being with us on this Sunday night. I'm Victoria Price. Country rap artist Upchurch was scheduled to play Saturday night at Cole's Off-Road Park in Mountain Pine, but... Neighbors say their properties were damaged as angry fans took to the streets after the show was called off. KRK4 Charmaine Nero joining us now with all the details. And Charmaine, people living nearby say the concert may have actually been over capacity. Exactly, Victoria. One man I spoke to says there were a lot of emotions last night after this event was canceled. Many people coming up to the venue with tickets in hand only to be turned away. Mud and gravel line Mountain Pine Road in Garland County. I guess the road was messed up going in there. After fans say hundreds of people were turned away for an Upchurch concert scheduled at Coles Off Road Park Saturday. Everyone kept asking, you know, when's Upchurch going to be here? When's Upchurch going to be here? Because, I mean, that's what, that's what everybody came to see. A.J. Leninger is one of several fans angry after paying to see the country rap artist out of Tennessee. Seemed like was they had sold more tickets than they had the, the ability to handle. The artist taking to Facebook expressing frustration at organizers, saying, you think I'm going to get on stage when I hear people running the park, cussing my fans out and turning them away. You done disrespected the wrong movement. He even posted this video. So if they buy the ticket, they should come have fun because that's what they paid to do. Angry fans taking to the streets, damaging property along the way. Small four-wheelers through here and trucks and trailers. Gary Brown owns Guns and More next door to the park. He says he's been cleaning up damage, including a broken fence and down road sign for most of the day. And like I said, I love music more than anybody, but uh, when it get, comes to this, it too much. Now fans like Leninger say they're being left in the dark. Wondering if they will get a refund for the canceled concert. Definitely. I'm definitely going to be like looking into, you know, making sure that, that they actually know what they're doing because, I mean, after this, this place is done. They're not going to be open after this. They're, this is going to shut them down. According to a post on Cole's Off Road Park Facebook page, they say they will be permanently closed. I also talked to staff at the place who say they apologize for any damage caused by this canceled event. Upchurch also posted on his Facebook page he will be holding another concert in the near Near future at another park for fans who paid for tickets. Back to you. All right, so we're just going to get straight to the question. And the first one I'll ask is just, you know, reaction to well, what exactly happened that night? And I guess the briefest form of, you know, 
why you decided to leave? Yeah, well, yeah, well the night prior we had left, um, I believe it was Oklahoma, had a really good show, um, you know, and going to this other show, we have a we have a contract with people where there has to be a standard, you know, there has to be uh, enough security guards for the fans who show up. You know, in case something happens, we don't want any women or children, first and foremost, to be, uh, you know, harmed or treated the wrong way. So when I showed up, you know, stuff was already a little bit sketchy. I was like, you know, this doesn't look like it was very well put together, but more so looks like somebody just wanted to use the name Upchurch to put a bunch of money in their pocket and then not care about what happens, uh, for one, to the fans, two, to that county um, and city and three, you know, they weren't really thinking about uh, EMS people, you know, the cops, um, the judge, the surrounding people who live there. You know, it's like they really didn't care what happened. They just wanted to make some money that night. And, you know, like I said before, making money's good and everything. Everybody wants to do that. But there comes a time when, uh, you know, the people that are coming up to see your shows and stuff and whatever county you're going to, that those people become more important than a dollar so you know when i do these shows and whatnot we have to have we have to go through certain things to make sure everything is right it's not about just well it, it, with me anyway it's not about just showing up and making money it's about making sure you know people make good memories people have a good time and they're safe while they're doing it because i mean the people that come to my shows are just like i was two years ago i was waking up at five o'clock in the morning uh you know going to work hanging drywall painting doing all that stuff so you know the people who show up to my shows i really care about them because they hustle for their money and when they come to a sh one of my shows they're there to relax they're not there to you know be cussed and yelled at and told to leave by the people who sold them the tickets. You know what I mean? And I know that you, um, they were saying that you took the money and ran. That's kind of what they're saying. And what's your take on that? I know you had a good point. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. It, it really made me laugh because the, the, the people saying that, these are people who are supposed to be, you know, business minded when it comes to music. They're supposed to be able to break down what the business is. And I did show up and I did take the deposit because what people don't understand is to throw these shows, I have to pay $6,800 out of my own pocket. That's for, that's for, you know, sound equipment, my sound guy, my lighting guy, my drummer, my DJ, my security, my tour manager, um, you know, the food, the hotels, what, whatever, that all comes out of my pocket because, you know, I'm not signed by a record label. I'm just some guy from a construction site that decided to make a song one day and they ended up blowing up. So I take the business part very serious. So yes, I did show up and yes, I did take my deposit and I still didn't, you know, you know, I still didn't feel right because everything happened to the fans. But you, what they have to understand is that's not the fans' money. That's the money from the business guy who paid me to be there. That's yeah. not the fans' money. They got the fans' money right. when the fans showed up. I got my money a month ahead of time, you know? It's not like it was just I took the, fan, the fans' money and ran like Babyface Nelson or nothing like that. <laughs> and last question before I let you go is you are holding another event at Carter's. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, Carter's was actually, um, they were nice enough to step up and be like hey you know after they seen my video they were like dude if you want to come back in our town and do a show uh we will accept your your fans tickets from the other show that you know had to deal with that catastrophe um you know and i don't really know a lot about carter's off-road i just know what uh hometown people have told me and they've said it's a really good place it's a big enough space they have everything they need and they make sure everything stays under control so uh, ninety nine point nine percent sure everybody who came to that show and fans in Arkansas can look forward to a really great show at Carter's. Bye, right, hun. See ya. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Ryan. See ya. Well, good. Well, good. Well, that went well. She's a nice lady. Are you glad they're depicting this situation in the right way versus... Oh, hell yeah, dude. I mean, fuck. I mean, I can cuss now. I'm on my own camera. Now, look. This is the fucking... You see how professional I just was on the phone? You have... Here's the thing. Look. 
you can be a redneck. I'm a redneck. You can be a wild motherfucker. I'm a wild motherfucker. But the thing is, you have to know when and where to, you know, be a professional. Be be the man for your people. And that's what I like to do. Yeah, I like being crazy. I like showing people, you know, my crazy side. But when it comes down to it and you're being a, a representation of your people, you want to do it in the best way possible. I don't want to get on the news and be like, hell yeah, it was, it was fucking, it was bullshit, and these motherfuckers, blah, blah, blah. No, you got to break it down, you got to be professional, and you have to make your statement like a boss. That's what's wrong with the freaking game. And better yet, that's what's wrong with the country rap game, okay? Everybody... I, and I'm not going to say everybody because it's not everybody, but at least half of the fucking people who are in this lane of music, you people don't represent our people like you're supposed to. You represent it like it's a fucking joke. And that's where I come in. And that's where Demon Jones comes in. And that's where all the good motherfuckers come in and hold it down. But you know what? Half of y'all people that are in this lane of music, y'all got to learn how to hold it down. Y'all can't keep running around fucking pointing fingers and being like, well, I'm beefing with so-and-so because he ain't as country as I am. No, you look like fucking children, and you're not going to fucking get anywhere like that. You got to be a boss, so quit acting like a fucking scrub, bitch. Give me my sweet tea.